I want us to move to another subsection called compound angles and double angles. Uh, if I've got sine into A plus B, what is the answer? If I've got sine into A minus B, what is the answer? If I've got cos into A plus B, what is the answer? If I've got cos into A minus B, what is the answer as well? Right, let's look at the first one. There is a rhythm that I want you to understand and pick it up. When we talk of the sine in compound angles, it becomes the rhythm is sine cos cos sine. I repeat, the rhythm for compound angle of sine, it is sine cos cos sine. Let's write it. So the answer will be sine of the first one, sine A, cos B, sine cos, keep the same sign, which is plus, sine cos, cos A, sine cos, cos sine, sine B. This is how you respond to it. Remember the rhythm, sine cos, same sign, cos sine, sine cos, cos sine. Sine, sine, same sign, you keep the same sign when it's the sign. This sign here, you keep it here. The rhythm is sine cos, same sign, cos sine. Let's go. Remember, we are given this in the formula sheet as well. Let's go to the negative one. It's still, this is still sine, but you keep the same sign. The rhythm is sine, cos, cos, sine. Let's write it down. So this is the same as sine A, cos B. Keep the same sign, minus cos A, sine B, sine, cos, cos, sine. That's how you go about doing it. I want us to move to cos quickly now. If you've got cos into theta plus beta, how do you, how do you spread that one? The rhythm for cos is cos cos sine sine. The rhythm for cos is cos cos. Because cos starts with C, you change sine here. Cos change sine, sine same sine. So the rhythm here will be cos cos sine sine. So it's cos A, cos B, change sine, so it's minus cos cos sine A sine B. This is how you go about doing the, the compound angles. The next one, it's the same thing. It's cos, so the rhythm will be cos cos sine sine. Let's write it down. So it's cos A cos B, change sine, so it's plus sine A sine B. This is how you go about doing the the, 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 the compound angles. And remember this, you are given in a formula sheet. We'll do examples to show, to show where this helps us. I want us to move to double angles. Remember, double means two. I want us to quickly look at the double angles. If I've got sine two theta, what is this going to be? It will be two sine theta cos theta. This is the double angle for sine. And I'll quickly show you where do we get this from. Another double angle that we have uh, Okay, let, let, let me just quickly show you where, where this comes from. If I've got two, if I've got a, a problem like this, sine two theta, what does this, does this mean? This simply means sine theta plus theta. It simply means this, two theta. That's what it is. Remember this is the same as this one now. Sine into A plus beta, which is exactly the same as that one. And I know the rhythm. It is sine cos, same sine, cos sine. Let's do the same thing there. This then would be, for, for this one, it would be sine theta, cos theta, sine cos, same sine, sine cos, cos sine, cos theta, sine theta. That's how you go about solving this one, using the common angles. Now, what do we have? Sine theta, cos theta, what do we have? Cos theta, sine theta. Sine theta cos theta is the same as sine theta cos theta. So this is the first one and this is the second one. At the end we are going to have two of each. Two of sine theta cos theta. So this is where this comes from. That sine two theta is equal to two sine theta cos theta. I want us to go to another double angle of cos. What do you spread? How do you spread cos two theta? This will be this one. 
Fortunately, this one, there's only one double angle for it. But for cosine, we've got three solutions there. The first one would be cos squared theta uh, minus sine squared theta. The second one uh, can be uh, 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. The third one will be 2 cos squared theta minus 1. So whenever you see cos, cos double angle for cos, it could either be this one, that one, or that one, depending on the scenario that you're facing. Before we go to using a diagram, I want us to take a few problems and see how they set this section in the examinations.